calendar with a special update. Today is March 16th of 2016. Today is the day that we've reached results of our two-week-long annual uh, planting intentions survey. Now, as far as the main headline numbers, let's, we're going to talk about uh, all kinds of things here. Number one, acreage. Number two, production. And number three, actually, we'll give you a little special treat here regarding farmer sales percentages. Now, as far as our uh, our general numbers here for corn, 90.431 million acres were seen. That's up 2.4 million over last year. That's also a little higher than USDA's Ag Forum numbers, their annual hour conference, and that was 90 million. So more corn acres than the trade was expecting, or uh, also from USDA's expectation. As far as soybeans, 82.575 million acres. That's actually down a very slight amount from last year, only 75,000 acre uh, decline. Uh, that's also very close to USDA's Ag Forum number of 82.5. Now, as far as wheat, we've got a, a small decrease here, of course. Uh, as you expect, 2.875 million acre decline from last year. That's down 51 point, or that's at 51.769. This decline is, of course, of no surprise to anybody, as we've already had those winter wheat acreage numbers released here. Now, as far as this net issue, as far as corn, soybeans, and spring wheat, of course, we are seeing an increase over last year, mainly because we have more acres available. In fact, a large 5.4 million acres will be will be added. For, uh, into the total planting mix here for this year. That comes from preventive plant, CRP, as well as those lower winter wheat acres. Winter wheat acres. Now, as far as production, corn we see it at 13.632 billion bushels. That's up 31 million from last year. Soybeans we see 3.722 billion bushels, that's actually down 207 million from last year's record crop. Wheat looking at 53 million uh, bushel or million uh, bushel reduction at 1.998 million uh, billion, eight, uh, billion bushels. And now as far as the last thing I mentioned here, let's talk about some farmer sales numbers. We also asked producers, well, how much old crop and how much new crop have you, uh, have you sold? At this time, corn old crop sales, 64% moved out. New crop, only 8% moved out here. Now, keep in mind, start that new crop number. Last year, during the exact same survey, they told us 16%. Now, as far as soybeans, about 75% of the old crop has been moved out. 8% of the new crop has been sold. Last year, during our survey, 24% of new crop had been sold. As far as wheat, 83% of the old crop had been moved. Looks like new crop, only 7% sold. So as a whole, looks like these farmers are certainly not getting too aggressive at all on uh, on new crop sales. And also, they're slightly behind where they normally would be for old crop sales as well. If you have any questions about what these numbers mean to the market, how to uh, do some marketing or trading involved with these numbers, feel free to give us a call here. That's 1-800-262-7538.